Hello everybody, I'm back with another, uh, this is my deck, blah 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 blah. Um, I'm recording this right after doing the one for my Wing and Beast deck. So, yeah, this is my dinosaur deck, same case and covers. I, I have three different case covers, red, blue, and grayish black. But yes, this is my dinosaur deck. And just like last time, I will get started with my monster cards. Um, so first up, we have three Hyper Hammerheads. Really good, uh, really good effects. No sacrifice needed, they're four stars. But uh, the thing is, when this battles an opponent's monster, no matter what happens, the monster is immediately destroyed at the end of the battle phase. I mean, Hyper Hammerhead could be destroyed. It's, it's pretty much a uh, kamikaze kind of guy. Alright, and next, I have three cards I really like, Black Stego. If a monster goes to attack Black Stego, Black Stego immediately becomes a defense. Um, its defense is 2,000, its attack is 1,200. Really good card if you want to attack and then immediately change to defense position. Um, Alright, now we're going on to my two. I have two Gilosaurus cards. Now, I really like Gilosaurus. Uh, you can special summon it from your hand. And your opponent can special summon it. And something I did when I was dueling my friend with this deck, and he was using his actual deck, is I used it when he had no cards in his hand, so he didn't have, he couldn't special summon anything. So I just special summoned it without any repent, repentance, re recollection. I don't know how it would be pronounced. Two Mad Sword Beasts. It's got if you ever play Magic like a Trample type ability. It uh, it attacks something in defense position, like let's say uh, twelve hundred, and it's a fourteen hundred attack. So your opponent would still take 200 damage. It's a really nice card. Then I've got two Dark Dryceratops cards. Same ability, but it's stronger by 1,000 points, and its defense is 300 stronger, but you have to sacrifice one monster for Yeah, one monster for it. There's six stars. Then I've got uh, two Seraprod Bronchi. Really, really high defense. You have to sacrifice two monsters for them. Um, but, uh, alright, I cannot special summon this from my deck. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one dinosaur type monster. So it only really needs one thanks to its ability if I'm running with this type of deck. Um, once per turn, you can change this card to face up defense position. While this card is flip summoned, change all other monsters to face down defense position. If your opponent attacks this card, any battle damage they take is doubled. Really, really good card. Oh, I love it. It's uh, an amazing card. Uh, then I've got two Element Saurus cards. Now, Element Saurus is one of those elemental type cards. Its effect determines what's on the field, a fire or an earth. So, let's say someone uh, you have a fire out. Increase the attack of this card by 500. Now, if someone has an Earth, negate the effect of an effect monster that is destroyed by this monster as a result of battle. Now, if you have both out, he gets both abilities, which is really good. I do have a lot of Earth monsters. I don't have, I don't think I have any fire monsters, though. Yeah, they're mostly uh, Earth, but a couple are water and a couple are air. I have two Miracle Jurassic Egg. Amazing, amazing cards. Great defense. Good uh, abilities. While this card is face up on your side of the field, this card cannot be removed from play. You place two counters on this card each time a dinosaur type monster card is sent to my graveyard. By tributing this card, you can special summon one dinosaur type monster from your deck whose level is equal to or lower than the number of counters on this card tributed. So if this thing is face up in a fence position, and let's say technically it sees, I'll say C3, um, Dinosaur type monsters get destroyed on my side of the field, sent to the graveyard. What ha happens is I can sacrifice this card and summon up to a level 6 dinosaur type monster. And I can only summon one. I can't summon like two level 3, sadly. Alright, then I'm, this is a dog. I have two. Sorry, trying to get them out. Hydrogenon and two Oxygenon. Now I do have Bonding H2O, but I do not have a Water Dragon yet. So, I'm going to be able to summon Water Dragon, but. Uh, Hydrogenon's effect is when this card just, uh, destroys a monster in battle, I can summon out a second Hydrogenon from my deck or hand. I think it's the deck or hand. Hydrogenon from your deck, nope. 
Alright, and then uh, when this card is destroyed by battle by a pyro type monster and sent to the graveyard, both people take 800 damage. It's Oxygen. Huh? Sorry, I realized it wasn't in the shot. Yeah, this is a mostly dinosaur deck. I think it's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, so 12 spells and traps. 5 spells, 7 traps. Alright, now we're getting into the singles. Tyranno Infinity. Its attack is how many dinosaur type monsters are removed from play. Uh, I have two survival instincts, which I'll show you later what it does and stuff. But uh, that helps. I have Baby Saurus, which, uh, if this card is destroyed by an effect and sent to the graveyard, select one level four or lower dinosaur type monster from your deck and special summon it. So it's really good if it's destroyed by an effect. Now, if it's destroyed by a creature, it's just destroy a monster. Sorry. My friend's got me saying it out. Now, Black Petera. Um, Black Terra, sorry. I always call it Petera. But, uh, when this card is set from your... Alright. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, except when destroyed by battle, it returns to your hand. So, like Lightning Vortex, it immediately would go back to your hand rather than the graveyard. Now, Sabersaurus. It's a bulky card. It's four stars. But it's not defensive. There's always, uh, problems with that. Now, my top two cards. Black Tyranno, really good card. Um, if your opponent controls no cards except defense position monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. And that's good against my friend who uses Morphtronics. It's uh, pretty good. This isn't the best dinosaur deck in the world, trust me. Then I got my ultimate Tyranno. Now I did have the third of the these three Tyrannos. Black Tyranno, Ultimate Tyranno, and then it was like Mech Tyran or Mech Machine Ultimate Tyranno, something like that. But this one is good because it's a fact, and I ended up destroying my friend with this effect. If this card is in attack position at the beginning of your battle phase, first you can and must attack all creatures on your opponent's side of the field once each with this card. Now, well, what, what the strategy I use with that is he had Morphtronic Bind out. So nothing over a level 4 could attack him. And I also had my Jurassic World out, so it gained, 3, 000, uh, so it gained 300. So it was a 3,300. And he had a power tool dragon who was at 3,300, and he kept attacking me with it. And I had a big, ev big evolution pill, that's how I was able to do that. But uh, he, he, none of my good monsters could attack to destroy it, and so I decided, I was like, ah, heck, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. So uh, it attacked, and it says it must attack, so it attacked and destroyed every monster on his side of the field and stuff, and I eventually ended up winning. But now onto my spell cards, my field spell. I've got two Jurassic Worlds. All dinosaur type monsters gain 300 attack and defense. Really, really, really good card. And two cards, these are my personal favorite spell cards the big evolution pill. Alright, you sacrifice one dinosaur type uh, monster, and for the next um, three of your opponent's turns, uh, you can summon out monsters without tributing if they're dinosaur types. And finally, Tail Swipe. I, I don't use this too much. But uh, select one face up level 5 or higher dinosaur monster on your side of the field. Alright. And uh, select and return to the owner's hand up to two monsters that are either lower level than the selected monster or face down on your opponent's side of the field. No sacrificing like in the dinosaur, I mean like in the dragon type guard that do stuff like that. Like a uh, wing beat of giant dragon, I think is what it called. All right, now into my traps. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Talking so much. All right, two volcanic eruptions. Um, they go with the uh, Jurassic World. Activate only during your end phase while Jurassic World's on your side of the field. Destroy all cards on the field. Not just yours, not just your opponents, but all of them. Now, it's really good, but it destroys your cards, too. I used that on him after I uh, had my uh, Jurassic World and all that stuff out, so the Mortronic Binds were gone, and I could tag. It's really nice. And now to Survival Instincts. Now, I was talking about this earlier with the um, Tyranno Infinity. That's how it gains its attack, with these is how I use it. All right, these select any number of dinosaur-type monsters in your graveyard, Remove them from play and gain 400 life points for each dinosaur type monster removed. Now, I removed 10 that last game using one of those. I didn't have Tyranno Infinity, sadly, but I used it and it was really awesome. Then a Hunting Instinct rather than a Survival Instinct. 
I think there's a couple more instinct cards, but uh, activate only when a monster special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Special summon one dinosaur type monster from your hand. Sorry, I didn't realize. I really like the art on the dinosaur cards. It's, it's, it's really cool. It's prehistoric looking. And... Seismic shockwave. Two more cards. <sighs> Seismic shockwave. Activate only when a dinosaur type monster on your side of the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Select three of your opponent's spell and trap card zones. Sorry. Uh, select a zone. Oh, you cannot select a zone if that card is already in it. Uh, select zones cannot be used. Destroy this card during your third standby phase after activation. You can return one dinosaur type monster from your graveyard to your hand. It's like a revival. I don't have many revival cards. I think that's my only revival besides this one. Fossil Excavation. It's a weird art. It's got these little guys on it, like uh, Sujutsu, or however you pronounce their name. They have, like, zero attack and zero defense, but combined, they're, like, really good. Yeah, discard one card from your hand. Select one dinosaur-type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. An effect monster special summon this way has its effect negated. When this card is removed from the field, destroy that monster. When the monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Really, really good card, and, in my opinion, pretty decent deck. I mean, it's it's just a bunch of random dinosaur cards I've collected over my Yu-Gi-Oh! career. But now, uh, I don't have an extra deck on the other one. Well, I did. It's like two cards. It was Triangle Ecstasy Spark, and that's, that was actually it, I think. But, um, now this is my extra deck. It's ten cards. It's irony, because uh, the card pack I got had 50 cards, and that deck's 40, and then this is 50. This, these cards make it 50, but anyways. Three Trachodons, all limited edition. All in mm, good to fair condition, I mean. They're not bad condition. They're vanillas, but they're not bad, but they're not something I wanted to use in the deck. A second Black Terra, because who you can't have enough Black Terras. Um, and now one of my spell cards. Oh, the Bonding H2 I was talking about combines two Hydrogadons and one Oxygadon. H2O, but I'm um, for a water dragon. Uh, another tail swipe, because I figured, well, I've only got a couple, and yeah. Um, now, I do have two more seismic shock waves. Um, I, I do tend to have three of a couple of these cards. Another fossil excavation. And then this card I got when I first got a ma uh, majority of my dinosaur cards. Treasure map. It was really, really uh, good card, actually, but I don't use it too much. It's a limited edition. It's in uh, near mint, I would say. Near mint to great condition. Um, but uh, you can only activate this card in response to activation of effects that would return this card from the field to your hand. So uh, it's really hard, but uh, if you have cards that would do that, like Giant Trunade, that would, be, that would work with this card. Alright, draw two cards from your deck and discard one from your hand. It's a pretty good card. I, I, I tend to, uh, I had it out on the field a lot, but it's, it's really just to take up space sometimes. But, uh, yeah, that's my dinosaur deck. It's, it's not the greatest dinosaur deck in the world. There's no synchros. There's, uh, nothing extremely special about it. Again, if you would like to duel me, um... I will have my Skype in the description. I'll have both of them because I, again, don't know which one, if they'll both work, if only one will work. But JBoy111222 and Mr. Space Potato. I'm weird like that. Um, so, yeah, that was my dinosaur deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like, a rating, something like that. If you liked it, and if you want to see more than just these two, uh, I, I will show decks, I'll create decks, but I won't show my main deck. But um, just leave a rating, and that's my deck, and I will see you guys next time.